Whew, man. I think it's safe to say I'll have to sharpen those mower blades, right? Oh, and hey, talking about mower blades, I got something coming. It's super duper cool. So if you're not on my email list, make sure you get on my email list. It's in the description below. It strictly has to do with mower blades and getting them razor sharp. You ain't gonna wanna miss this. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm gonna to welcome you out here to my dead fescue. Yeah, she's pretty much dead as a hammer right now. And of course, uh, once we scalp it down, we'll see if there's any green left up under here we need to spray again. Now, Pete, why in the world did you kill off that gorgeous fescue? It looked some kind of good. What, what in the world made you do it? Well, I think there's three reasons that anybody might want to do a renovation. Number one is if you have an incredible amount of undesirable grassy type weeds. You know, grassy type weeds mixed in cool season turf, they're hard to control. Talking about things like Bermuda grass and Dallas grass and goose grass and Johnson grass and all those grasses, excluding crabgrass, that's pretty easy to control. But sometimes it's cheaper just to smoke it off and start over when you're dealing with all those wild grasses. Number two is if you just have a very bumpy and rough yard. Yes, with grasses like Bermuda grass and uh, Kentucky bluegrass, you can do some sand leveling. And over time, you can get things flattened out. That takes several years depending on just how bumpy your yard is. Or... You smoke it off, renovate, get it down to bare dirt, regrade it and re-slick it down, and then you would plant your seed or sod and have a nice smooth mowing surface. Third reason is if you want to switch turf types, and that is what's going on here. Let's just say for example's sake, if I had a full-blown Kentucky bluegrass yard and I had bunches of fescue coming up in it, and I treated that fescue as a weed, meaning I wanted to eradicate that fescue but leave the Kentucky Blue. I don't know of a herbicide on the market that would do that, except Roundup or a good old fashioned shovel. So if you can see right here, I've got a boatload of fescue that I needed to kill it and eliminate it and get rid of it before I switch over to my new turf type, which is gonna be Kentucky Bluegrass. And it just so happens that I kind of fall under a second part of this, the, the three reasons is I need to do some grading. I'm going to fill in the ditch, slick this down because I want to reel mow this and cut it very short. You know, shortcut grass, you need a good smooth surface to mow so there's no scalping and, and things like that. So the last time I mowed this, yeah, it was cut it on four and a quarter inches. So um, I don't want to take it all the way down to one because that would be a lot of strain on the machine. And plus, you know, just be harder and take longer. So I'm gonna do this in two phases. I'm gonna take it down to about two and a half inches the first go around, and then go back around everything and get it down to an inch or even lower. I'm gonna put the mower deck as low as it'll go on the ground. Uh, might even take those uh, scalp rollers off uh, just to see how low I can get it because uh, at the end of the day, I want all this brown material gone or as much of it. Since I am going to be bringing in dirt and moving dirt around and digging and cutting and all that, this grass when mixed with dirt uh, has a tendency to roll and collect and things like that and it, and it kind of makes the grading job a little harder. Okay, so that's why each step along the way I'm trying to make my job as easy as possible even though it might take me a little bit longer out here to get all this cut down as low as I can, looking forward to the grade work, it'll make it easier on me. I won't have to spend as much time out here with a rake, raking all the, you know, the grass clippings that kind of gets ground up in the little chunks. You know, grass is a, and has the roots and it's connected to a little dirt ball. All that stuff don't break up perfectly. So I want to get rid of as much of this as possible 
to make the rest of the renovation as easy as possible. So you can see right here, this pile, it's almost waist deep, knee deep on the edges. And right there in the middle, it's waist deep. So ain't no way in the world that's gonna fit on that trailer. So uh, I'm probably gonna have to bring a dump truck out here. I'm gonna tell you what, boy, that's a boatload of dead fescue. So I actually had to go over it uh, three or four times to get it down to an inch and a half, and which I took the anti-scalp wheels off, but that's as low as that Z cable cut. And I think that's pretty good. Um, probably gonna have to fight some of that, uh, the little clumping, grass clumping when I grade it and all that. But you know, you can never get it scalped clean to the dirt unless you take a string trimmer out here and gouge it. And I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. It's just too much area to, try and do that out here. Now I did change my mind over here on something. Uh, all this fescue, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it tomorrow and kill it. And it's gonna come all the way down to here and stop here. So from here up, I'm just gonna go and spray it and kill it too. It'll look better, to, but I am gonna keep that, uh, that uh, fescue back there in that corner. Um, I got I gotta, watch it for another year uh to just kind of see what it does and see how it acts and all that but we'll talk about that in another video the reason i kept this bluegrass right here is over there where that light pole is at i'm gonna have kind of a steep drop off right there right before it gets to the light pole unless i can think of something else i might build a retaining wall right there i don't know yet i think i'm gonna have a steep drop off so i saved this right here for sod to sod all of that area, you know, and come on out a little ways. That way, you know, I don't run into any erosion issues and that kind of thing in that particular area. That's probably gonna be my only, you know, trouble spot, I guess. And then back here in the corner where it butts up to one, two, three neighbors, you know, they all, all four of our lots touch right in that corner. Uh, it's a little bit of a drop off there, so I'm going to use some of this sod to sod that area so that, you know, I don't have any erosion, you know, go into any of their yards or anything. So the scalp's done. Um, I'm going to actually put the bagger on it right fast and run over it one more quick time and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, the, the bulk of it is 100% gone. And then I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow and 
lightly dust it with Roundup one more time. You know, fescue kills pretty easily when you spray it with uh, Roundup. But there is deep down in the canopy, I can see a little bit of green, a few little leaf blades stuck way down in the canopy that, you know, when I spray it, you got to remember this grass is incredibly thick. And, you know, all the Roundup may have not have touched every single grass blade. So now that I've got it skint down and the ground's kind of opened up and I can see a little green here and there, it's just safe to do that. Uh, you know, the main reason is for uh, Kentucky bluegrass cool season grass, tall fescue cool season grass. And if I have any fescue come back in the, the Kentucky bluegrass, the blue heat, uh, that means dig it out or round up. That's basically it. I don't know of any herbicide that you can spray over a bluegrass yard and take fescue out of it and not hurt the bluegrass. I don't, I don't even think they make it. I ain't got much light left, so let me knock this out right here. Subscribe to the channel, and you can watch this whole process. Uh, next step is I will bring the power rake out here and uh, start grinding out here a little bit and semi-leveling. Then we'll start bringing dirt in, you know, semi-level. Then we'll do the irrigation and go back and fine level it, great, fine grade it, and then... Uh, be time to put the blue heat down in so i'm pumped up i mean i don't look or sound pumped up i know i'm i'm butt nasty right now i'll be out in the morning when i get up though so hey, appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch i'll check you later